Be inspired with the special message from Bishop Macedo. Hello, my friends. A very good morning. And may the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Peace, come upon your life right now in this very moment. You don't even have to wait till tomorrow. But if it doesn't happen right now or today, tomorrow I'm sure that if you come to the church with this purpose, with this willingness, I'm sure, I'm, I have faith, I believe that you are going to receive Him. Because people who come, when we invite them, Many people hear the invitation, right? Many people, thousands, millions of people even, they receive the invitation, but not everyone believe. Only those who come are the ones who show that they believe. So whoever believes or whoever comes, Obviously, they come because they believe, and once they believe, they will receive. Because the Lord Jesus guarantees, it's not something of my own. I'm not the one promising. I am not the one promising. It's the Lord Jesus who promises, actually. He's not even promising. He's giving. Giving to those who want it, those who receive it, those who accept it. He says like this, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. This is wonderful. This is glorious. Pay close attention. Pay close attention, please. Whoever has the spirit of peace, which is the Holy Spirit, they have condition to give peace to those who don't have it. This is my belief, my vision, my understanding. Jesus was leaving to his followers as an inheritance, peace. He was not just giving any peace. As people usually say, you know, be with you, brother. No, no, not at all. He said like this, My, <laughs> my peace I give to you. It's very nice. My peace I give to you. It's my peace. Come on. Can you understand what this means? My peace I give to you means that Jesus he transfers to his disciples to his followers those who believe in him what he has which is peace why because he is peace he is the prince of peace and he has the spirit of peace in order to give to those who believe in him. So the idea for tomorrow is exactly that, peace. You who are living with, in conflict and not only the external conflicts, but the internal conflicts, which are the worst ones, because the external conflicts, we just have to step away and we will be at peace, isn't it? However, when the conflicts are on the inside, are internal, so wherever you go, you will be in conflict with yourself. However, you don't have to worry about that. Let's keep an eye, let's look at the promises of Jesus and not to the circumstances. Let's look at the author of faith, the finisher of faith and belief. 
the one who calls all peoples. He calls everybody. Unfortunately, not everyone is chosen because not everyone believes. So those who believe, who are, which is a very small group, but they receive, they are chosen. Many are called, very few are chosen. However, let's speak about the situation. For example, your situation, you who are watching me now there during the night, there in Brazil, it's 4.18 a.m. now in the U.S., they're now in Miami, it's 3.18 a.m. and so on and so forth. Los Angeles, it's 18 minutes past midnight, right? And whatever is the situation, my friend, we from the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God, we want to give you what God has given us. It's what the Apostle Paul said, what I have received from the Lord is also what I have given to you. And it's what we say, what we have received from the Lord, we want to give to you. However, obviously that it's necessary for you to believe. And how do you know whether or not you believe? When you take action, when you take an action of faith, the action of faith is to obey. Okay, I'm going to go because I will receive. But you have to come with this thirst, this hunger to receive. As in the wedding day, you who got married once, you, you married and you went out to meet the groom or the bride, then you went out all happy, all smiles, to meet the person whom you loved. Very well. Tomorrow, you are going to dress your best clothes. It doesn't have to be in the fashion. It has to be what you have, the best you have. You don't have to buy a new one. Place the best one you have. Why do I have to wear my best clothes, Bishop? Because when you prepare at home, you take a shower, you put on clean clothes, your perfume, then you are proving to yourself that you are going to marry with the groom. You are going to meet peace. This is faith. This is faith. If you come anyhow, as if you were going to try something out, it's better not to come, because nothing is going to happen. But if you prepare yourself, if you put on or you focus in the meeting that you are going to attend at whether 7 a.m., 9.30 a.m., or at 6 p.m., there in the Temple of Solomon, for example, or in the Holy Ground in Brasilia, or in Rio de Janeiro, or perhaps there in Curitiba, in the temple of the Universal Church, and so on. Wherever there is a Universal Church, go with that conviction, I am going to go to encounter my groom. Go as if you are a princess, going to meet your groom, the Prince of Peace, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, Peace I leave with you, which is the most glorious thing that we have inside of us, the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The peace, my peace, I give to you. So when we receive peace, we receive the spirit of peace, the Holy Spirit. And then it will be only joy and celebration. Sometimes, for example, we have 
our struggles on the outside, of course. However, what matters is inside of us. If we are strong inside of us, then we are going to be strong on the outside. Yet, if we are weak inside of us, we are going to be weak outside. And that's where we lose the battle. So, that's how faith is. God gives us faith in order to strengthen our inner being so that on the outside we can fight the obstacles and overcome. So, when you have peace, you have the spirit of peace, which is the spirit of the Lord Jesus. And Jesus says clearly, not as the world gives do I give to you. The world gives an external type of peace, an apparent peace. However, this apparent peace has an expiry date, isn't it? Many people, unfortunately, they worry with their exterior, their appearance. But their interior is unwell. So what's the point if you put on the best clothes that is trending, the most expensive one, a very expensive purse, very expensive one, hanging on, on your shoulder, and you go out and about you know, walking and showing it off to everybody, but inside of you, there is a conflict. There is sadness, anguish. You are tormented. Fear, anxiety, fears, doubts. If inside of you, everything is going wrong, you are that person who can't sleep at night properly. You are that type of person who is very angry. You are that person who is restless, who is always really angry and upset. You are someone who is always fighting with A, B or C. For any silly thing, you are fighting with people. That means that you are not okay within yourself. It means that you don't have the Holy Spirit at all. Because whoever has the Holy Spirit has peace. They have God Himself in them, isn't it? Oh, but I speak in tongues. And so what? The devil also speaks in tongues. So many people pour them. They are deceived by the deceiving spirits which makes them believe that they have the Spirit of God, when within them there is a mess, there is disorder, a total disorder. Very well. God, through the Holy Spirit, He wants to bring within you His light, the light of peace. I wish you'd receive this peace right there, right now. I wish you were already happy, rejoicing with this peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that you would also transfer this peace or give this peace to other people around you, your friends, your social cycle. Well, Sunday, tomorrow, we are going to be in this faith and we are inviting everyone who has been living with an internal conflict. If you are one of them, tomorrow come with faith and you are going to see what's going to happen. A new life awaits for you. May God bless you all. And by the way, don't forget that at 3 p.m. we have that meeting for those who suffer with depression. Those who are from depression to depression. If you are a person of peace, please invite someone, bring someone at 3 p.m. tomorrow here at Celso Garcia 499 or at any Universal Church of the Kingdom of God at 3 p.m. 
All right? May God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Amen.